Hey guys, and welcome to a Tip Tuesday from Ranessa with Art Designs. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you how I design uh, cover photos for Facebook pages as well as logos. I'm just using my page here as an example, um, but I'm just going to show you how you can quickly do this. You can do this in both Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, whatever you prefer. Um, I start with a template that I've pre-made but your dimensions are going to be about uh, they're going to be about 1640 by 863 um, and then I've just used these guidelines or these rulers that you can get um, in Illustrator or in Design or any design software you're working in uh, usually if you have a ruler to the side you can pull out you know where you want to place it um, we're not going to do that right there, but um, the reason I did that is because I know that this portion of the design is going to be seen. Uh, both on desktop and mobile, you want your text and everything to fit within this box. So as you can see here, I've got all my text within those guidelines. Uh, this one's just a little bit outside those guidelines, but that's because I don't always need this. This is not really that important. It's just my tagline. Uh, but this stuff down here is really important, so I made sure that that is all within those grid lines, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you want to focus on uh, this upper kind of right-hand corner, because if you think about it, when you're looking at a Facebook page, usually the logo is somewhere within here, uh, then you've got your cover photo behind that, especially on mobile. So as I've done here, I've just drawn some simple circles. Uh, and just kind of randomly place them throughout. And these are my brand colors. <clears throat> and I just repositioned all of that. And so I'm going to go ahead and make a clipping mask. And you're going to do this by, first of all, grouping all this together. So you're going to select it all with your, your V tool. And then you're going to control G on a PC and that's command G on a Mac and then you're gonna want to draw a rectangle over and you're gonna then select so I'm holding down shift as I use my V tool and you're gonna select the objects behind and since they're grouped you can just select this one and it'll, it'll select all of them and then you're gonna right click and you're going to create a clipping mask. And that just cuts out all this extra and that makes sure that your artwork um, you know, isn't disproportionate to uh, the dimensions that we talked about. So then I'm going to select all again and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to export my selection. So usually what I like to do is export into a PNG or a JPEG or a PDF file. Um, if you do this and you have already exported, or let's see, I'm sorry, if you have already exported as a PNG but you have kept the uh, background on there, so like, let's use this for an example. <clears throat> so right here I've got a transparent background and usually PNG is transparent, you don't want the white or the black on there. Um, but if you have white selected, when you go to export your selection, it's going to do whatever you have set in here. So you want to make sure that you've already got this pre-exported or whatever. And you can export this way too. This is just, I prefer to export only the selection that I <laughs> selected. So that's why I do that. Uh, it's being crazy right now. Okay, export selection. And then you're going to name it. And you don't have to add a suffix if you don't want to. And then you're going to go in and you select your file type. And then you're going to export your asset. <clears throat> so once you've done that, you're going to come over to Facebook. And you're going to upload a photo or video. And it's real simple. You just choose um, your cover photo if you've named it. you know. And like I said, mine's PNG, so that's why it looks kind of crazy. But once you upload it, it automatically puts a white background behind it, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so I'm just going to do that for the sake of showing you in this video. 
Alright, and then we're just going to position it. So, you want to make sure um, that in this section you've got room, you know, like I said, for your logo to overlap. So, all this stuff is kind of shifted, which is great because it'll still show up even on mobile. And I'm just positioning this to where I can see all the text. And this is going to go away, so once you hit save, you're not going to hit cancel. I'm going to hit cancel, but once you hit save, then it should look something like this. Now for your profile photo, I really recommend having like a circular shape or a square shape uh, that you can easily fit within this profile photo. If you try to fit something like this long logo here, uh, in a profile photo, it's going to either be really tiny, really small, and you can't see it, or it'll cut it off. So what you want to do is what I've done. Um, I simply took my shorter logo. So I have a primary logo, which is this one, and a secondary logo, which is this one. And I have kind of placed it over top a circle. And the circle dimensions are 469 pixels by 469 pixels. But you can really use any type of circle because you're going to scale it once you upload it. <clears throat> and then I just select both. And I come up here to the align tool, make sure that it's all centered perfectly and it's good. So again, we're going to export that selection just like we did before. Come back over to Facebook upload your photo and you'll have a circle here and you're going to open okay and then it's going to ask you to drag and reposition now do you see here where I'm talking about like it's a circle so it's cutting off my design just a little bit the great thing about it being already positioned in a circle or a square is that you can scale it so once you scale all the way out it's getting that entire shape in there and that's what you want um, and then you're going to want to save. So I'm going to hit cancel because I've already saved it. So that's it, you guys, for this Tip Tuesday. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just let me know. I do these design packages where I design um, the cover photo, the logo, the profile photo, your little About Us section over here. I do all of that as part of my branding and style guide. So uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.